सो हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज द वीडियो टू क्रिएट ग्रेफिन मोलिब्लेडनम डाइसल्फाइड हाइड्रोस्ट्रक्चर आई इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैव शेड हाउ टू क्रिएट मोनोलेयर्स ऑफ मोलिब्लेडनम डाइसल्फाइड एंड मोनोलेयर ऑफ ग्रेफिन If you are directly coming to this tutorial, that is not going to help you. But you have to just go to my previous videos and just check it how to create monolayers. So the thing is, uh, let me just start my view or my video. So first we have to compare the mono monolayers of this structure. So reason of like uh, why I am just comparing this. so if we'll create the monolayer between graphene and molybdenum disulfide it is going to create some lattice mismatch mismatch as i already shared the lattice constant is 3.32 for molybdenum disulfide here it is 2.46 so definitely it will going to create problem i am going to share a root integer method which will not be a part of this video but you can always decrease a lattice mismatch okay so by the way let me just explain this lattice mismatch again so lattice mismatch is something whenever you try to just merge two heterostru two structures then because of their lattice constant difference they will not be compatible with each other and that is called lattice mismatch suppose it's a 3.32 so lattice mismatch is 3.32 minus 2.46 because we are just putting graphene Uh, into a molybdenum sulfide so 3.32 minus 2.46 divided by 3.32 which will come um, around uh, like 20 uh, like in some numbers it will be more than 2 or 3% so that is actually uh, a lattice mismatch so lattice mismatch can create strain in your system however you can always use this system uh, to make your initial calculation so that is first step that you should know now next step is because these are like in uh, one of the like i have already shared it in the direct coordinates so we want this uh, molybdenum disulfide file to be in a direct coordinate system so let me just drag this molybdenum file and we will have uh, our we have to save it in direct coordinates so drag so this is our mono layer let me just export this file in terms of direct coordinates and i will save it, it as a postcard save fractional coordinates now we have two files i think this one i should delete just to not create confusion now you see it's in 3.36 lattice constant and graphene is just 2.46 you can always compare and this will be a lattice mismatch but again for heterostructure creation you can use it but now what we have to do we have to make a file we have to just copy this molybdenum direct coordinate file okay no it is not going to uh, we have to just copy it control c control v and we will just say it's an heterostructure good to go go to monolayer for file and copy these coordinates control c now you have hat structure and you can ready to go just paste it very usual way and you can just type carbon and these are two atoms two coordinates in direct th these are two so it's an hetero structure i am just giving it as an hs mm, control s let me just open this file how it is going to look so you can see your hetero structure is somewhere between like this so it's a merged structure but we really don't want this our structure means this layer should have some distance so how we can just solve it go to export write it as an cartesian coordinate let me just save it as hs1 hetero structure 1 or i can just write it cart with just to create just to make a difference uh cartesian we want now let's see how how our cart file is looking now you see the our coordinates are now removed 
so uh, the highest atom is on 5 so it's a selenium so if we just have to go to we have to go to beyond that so let's uh, molybdenum the sulfide is sulfur, uh, and those two atoms are exactly almost they are at the same number so we have to just increase it by like say let me make it 9 9 just save it let's see how it is going to look now i think it is going to help us and now your heterostructure is created so you will say oh my god it is not showing the bond so i will just go to edit bonds so that you can visualize your graphene file and just create a new new and just type carbon type carbon and you will see apply you will have your graphene and molybdenum heterostructure you can also place molybdenum over above the graphene below the graphene it is depends on you it is basically depends on you however we can just make one more thing we can go to this cartesian file and we can just increase it to 25 this is because we want to just add vacuum so adding vacuum in a cube in this kind of system is not that easy until unless it's a triclinic system or it's a like it's a mostly triclinic system that will create a difference so though it is extended now your molybdenum disulfide and graphene heterostructure is ready for your calculation again i am telling you this is a paid course which i have learned and please like and subscribe to my youtube channel because i am sharing the paid content for free and uh, it is taking my lots of effort i am researcher like you giving time for everyone and for me also um, but the thing is if we are making video it is going to help everyone so thanks for watching my video please like and subscribe to my youtube channel i hope you are finding my videos interesting and useful